What's up, summoners? It's time for Gradley's Tip of the Day number two, brought to you by me, because I don't have any sponsors. Anyways, this is all about how to deal with Unstoppable without taking a bunch of block damage. And then at the end, I'll kind of dive into the standard technique you use for a lot of fights in the Labyrinth of Legends, where you chip away at them without taking block damage so you can bait out their special, and you'll see. The simple trick is after you evade their special attack and then jump back, wait a split second before you hold block and they'll jump back 90% of the time. Then just keep doing the same thing until their unstoppableness wears off. Watch how brief the pause is when you mastered the technique. You probably can't even see it, but you do see jugs jumping back. Here's an exaggerated example using Angela. In the first Unstoppable, you can see I'm just blatantly not holding block. But in the second one, you see just how brief that pause really needs to be. Which adds a little protection for the other 10% of the time when they don't jump back. Did you see it? Here's a couple replays. Hey, by the way, whenever you're trying to bait, remember to let them move first. You have to react. If you jump back in anticipation, they'll come in and hit you. It's happened to all of us. So what does this all have to do with the kind of standard Labyrinth of Legends fighting technique? Well, it's all about creating space and then keeping it. In many of the Labyrinth of Legends fights, you really need to bait out their special attack in order to create a safe opening. So before they have a bar of power, what we'll do is we'll bait them the same way by jumping back and letting them jump back. And as soon as they block, you can run in, hit them against their block, which both drives them backwards and drives their power meter up eventually to one bar of power so that you can evade the special and then go in and get some damage done. And then rinse and repeat. That's pretty much how I did it. Once you get in the habit of doing this, it'll blow your mind how often you use it in the game. And with that, I'm going to go because this went a little longer than I intended to. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.